and she told me my freaking dress was like out. <laughs> like my whole things were out. Hi guys, welcome back to my retouch of boo. Yay! albondigas with my mom she taught me how to make them and girl you know what this time around i feel like i did a lot i did feel like i actually made them and the recipe is so easy if you guys have not seen that video that's gonna be linked down below i'm so excited i got my soda i got my five meatballs how do you guys say albondigas in english please let me know they're basically meatballs with veggies and rice and we have the albondigas in here look at that look at all of that goodness i actually have some batillo here i'm gonna put a little bit i like Sometimes grabbing the entire meatball and eating that I, I don't know if I'm just a fat ass, but I like to do that Some people like to mash it up. I think I'm gonna do a mix of both today And I like it with not so much caldo because I don't know. I just rather eat the meat But my makeup looks crazy I told you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions and that's basically what I'm gonna do while we're here eating Let's go off and answer some questions Someone asked me, what will you be for Halloween, girl? I don't know, Halloween is approaching so quickly. It's going by so fast. I have a few costumes in mind for like Halloween parties and stuff, but I don't know what I'm gonna be for actual Halloween. This is pretty bomb. Beautiful. What? How'd I do? They're bomb. They are, huh? Yeah. And especially like, this is very simple. You know how sometimes we're like, fuck, what do we get? Like, just something quick. This is not bad. Super easy. It was really, really easy. I was shook. I was like, wait, it's this easy to cook? I'm sorry. I'm gonna cook every day. Mm. Oh my God, this is a really sad one. Will you ever tell us what happened to your dog? I feel like I almost told you guys what happened. So we live really close to, well, we're literally in a cerro. It's really sad because till this day, like I cry about it. Our dog cuddles. Ugh, it's so sad because I forget he passed because honestly, Butter, which is his son, looks identical to him. But basically, my little monster, I used to call him Monster. I feel like I don't wanna talk about it, but whatever. He literally got attacked by coyotes, and I mean, we've had him for years, and it just took that one night for him to leave the gate because somebody was leaving and forgot to, well, didn't forget anything, but a lot of times what we do is wait for the gates to close after we drive off. Someone didn't wait because, I mean, visitors don't really know this, they just, you know, go. But I'm guessing this time around, Somebody was driving off, cuddles took off as well. We didn't really notice it overnight because sometimes they would sleep outside just depending whatever they, they honestly wanted because we do have a little dog house outside as well, as well. Cuddles and Handsome used to sleep inside, like with us in the bedroom. But we thought that night maybe he was trying to get in on with Foxy. The next day we noticed like he wasn't around at all. We thought he had like ran off. And then my brother actually found his body and it was really, really sad because my husband had to help him like pick up the body and we didn't want to get rid of him necessarily so we built a little grave in our backyard and you guys have seen it if you guys follow me on instagram and it is honestly so sad just the other day i was in the car sobbing i mean this was literally days ago and it's been a few months since then and it hurt me so bad and it was so sad but oh my god i don't even want to get emotional because if i go too deep in it i will get i will cry but it's so sad and i try to honestly i feel like god blessed us with butter <laughs> we have really funny names for her dogs. He's a replica of him and I forget sometimes he's gone and then a lot of times I call him butter cuddles. <sighs> Are we gonna get a sneak peek video of Ricky Singera? I have been begging Karina for years for us to react to Ricky Singera and I've been telling her and telling her. Our schedules just don't align. It has to happen. It really, really does. I got five meatballs and my mom was hella judging me. I was like, five girl, that's nothing. Mm. <clears throat> Help. Ah, I got chili on my nose. <coughs> <coughs> Holy shit, how iconic like this. Mm. If I could grab them all like that, I would. 
It's crazy because I used to think that you made the rice first and then you made the other one, I guess, but you just have to watch the video. I'm sure if you actually know how to cook, y'all are probably like, duh. Before starting YouTube, did you ever think your life would, was gonna be like this? I feel like life in general has changed and it's just crazy. I wonder if anyone's gonna be like, why the f are you eating on top of a stove? I feel like I always tell this to Karina. I'm like, damn, your success, like you're making sure everyone in the family is living it. I wouldn't be able to afford a house like this. Let's be fucking real, you know? Like, of course, I love living here with my family and everything. I eventually want to, like, get a place. But, like, if I could buy my own home, I wouldn't buy a house this big. One, I, like, like I said, I wouldn't be able to afford something this ginormous. The reason, actually, Karina got this house is because it fits everybody in here. She hasn't even said herself, like, I wouldn't buy a home like this big. Where am I going with this question? Am I even answering the question they asked me? I feel like we're really, really grateful where we're at, for sure. What happened to... We want to know what you have to say. I feel like I'm so over this topic and people are kind of finding out what's been going on and I even saw like some people um, have done videos about it and honestly, I'm so over it. At the moment, you know, you get upset and you get disappointed. It was just so fresh at that moment when everything went down that, you know, my natural instinct was to react to it and I'm moving on and I'm gonna put that behind me. Aside of everything that went down, you know, I really, really do. Right now that I'm saying this in a peaceful, like, mindset, I really wish her the best and her family the best. You know, everything that went down, went down and, you know, things are the way they are now. And you know what? Part of me does make me take back certain things I said not that anything was a lie it's just sometimes I think when people get angry they act out and maybe we shouldn't have gone live we shouldn't have been so angry but at the moment you hear things and it triggers you you know but I think everything should have been private from the very beginning just because it's really nobody's business you know i'm the kind of person like and people always have called me stupid for this i always see the good in people and regardless of how much you hear how much negativity is out there being said you kind of sometimes feel bad but you know it happened and we're not in good terms and that just went down and honestly like i wish her the best Someone asked me tips on how to stay motivated. When I start getting stressed, I ask myself like, why'd you do this in the first place? What was your motive? Have fun with it, you know? And you guys definitely keep me motivated as well, you know? But always, always ask yourself why you're doing it and why you started doing it. Regardless, if it's so many years down, ask yourself why you're doing it. Remind yourself why you started. I feel like that's the best way to motivate yourself. And just in general, your surroundings should definitely motivate you. For me, I always think, okay, I don't wanna be jogging in place. Like I wanna continue growing and I have goals for myself. Always think about your goals. That's what I think keeps me motivated. Is it hard for you to make friends now that you're famous? Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. I honestly, I am trash. Like, are you able to fully trust a new friendship? I feel like I've always thought the same way with people. It doesn't matter who you are, what you do. I'm really good at reading people. But then again, my stupidity goes in front of that. I see good in everyone. You know what though? But I honestly truly believe that no matter how evil a person comes across, there's like something good in there. Like literally, you could tell me this person did this, 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 and that. And I'm gonna pull up like what good they did. In a way, it's not hard for me to make friends. I don't think just because I do YouTube now, it's hard for me to trust people. I honestly, nothing has changed with friendships like that. It's hard to trust people in general. I think as I grow, as I grow as an individual, it's hard for me to trust people. Nothing to do with like YouTube. I think it's just, I'm just growing and not taking people's shit. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, I'm done. Let me get more. Ooh. Somebody was like, how did you know you wanted to marry Brian? We were together for a lot of years, a lot, a lot of years, and he was just a really good guy. He's not mujeriego. I can't even see Brian like flirting. You could just tell there's guys out there that are flirty. You could tell, not necessarily that they're not faithful to their wife, but you could just tell that you know, they like the attention like that from women and you know, they think they can get all these bitches. I just said you can't get bitches. I'm <laughs> just kidding. 
I just knew he was a really good guy. And it's funny because in the beginning, we were gonna break up because, well, we broke up a few times because we used to have it really rough, y'all. We were both growing up together, literally. We were like really immature at some point. We never did anything malicious to like ever have to break up, but we were just petty and I went through a weird phase like everybody goes through a weird phase and he so happened to be there in the weird phase and <sighs> that's some tea I was gonna break up with him at some point because I was like I don't know like I mean he's cool he's funny but I don't know it, like I just was gonna break up with him at some point which is so weird but I didn't give up and I just kept dating him and he was just so funny he was just such a jokester i was like why am i gonna leave something that's not really broken that's literally the way i saw it i'm like if it's not broken why even try to fix it i was like eight months with brian when i had my sweet 16. we call it quinceanera because it was a quinceanera but we were already 16 at the time but i remember we were we had just turned 16 actually like just turned literally days ago and i remember oh my god we're eight months do you ever think on making a youtube channel with karina yeah me and karina are planning a youtube channel together we've been saying it it has to happen like it's gonna happen it's just that way they're scheduled it's it's hard it's so hard and i hope one day for sure after october i'm gonna have a lot more time on my hands there's more that goes on behind this you know we're working on this other project and we're constantly busy after this i will definitely think we'll have more time between that so we can actually film some videos together and put them on that channel that would be so funny because people love us together once me and karina are together in a room like we just can't stop laughing we're literally jokes do you think you could do vlogmas without missing a day and she put that little face? I don't know at this point. It wouldn't be me if I don't miss a day. Did you watch novelas growing up? Was Rebelde a novela? Bitch, I watched Rebelde like no other. We went to the one that was in LA. I forgot exactly what stadium it was. Oh my God, I hope I could pull up a picture in this video. If I don't, I'm so sorry. But we were dressed with like a white muscle shirt and it was like cut in the boobs, I think. Oh my God, totally like Mean Girls vibe. And we were like 11, 13, we were so little. Like our outfits were really cringy. And then us with like our fat face, no makeup on, bitch. I can't even picture it <laughs> like honestly i look at pictures of me and karina and i'm just like why it was funny and then we, are, we had our poster and it was hailing that day hard hailing hard but we watched just naturally a lot of novelas growing up because my parents like love their novelas there's a lot of novelas we watched but the one that i could remember that I was like obsessed with, with was Rebelde. I almost feel like I saw that show during the day. It was a novela, right? Or was it just a show? Like, this is gonna be the last one I answer because I'm getting full. What is the most embarrassing moment you've had drunk? Um, okay. <laughs> it's been a few times that this has happened. Oh my god, and it's so embarrassing. This was like years, years ago when my parents had the 25th year anniversary. It was getting late. It was like around like 8, 9 p.m. And I remember thinking like, I'm not lit yet. Like, I want to get lit. I started taking shots after shots. And I don't know how I got this lit. I don't even remember drinking so much. I don't honestly dead ass don't remember. But I went from being like nothing to just me standing saying i am peeing myself i am peeing myself and from there it cut to me waking up the next morning confused confused in my bedroom like where am i i honestly don't remember how i got home i really don't oh wait i have like a little split like few seconds i remember somebody was trying to get me inside the car it was like a rancho and so we were out outdoors and i remember we were in the parking area and somebody was like trying to get me to go inside the car and i kind of remember it's crazy how in the moment you don't remember i feel like as the years go by you start getting memory of it back again does that happen to anybody because i'm literally thinking of things that i never thought before i remember some of the car ride i think i threw up on myself yeah i think i threw up on myself on the car ride oh my god this is really funny so someone else there was like two people that tried to like take me inside the house and they really thought that i was gonna walk to my room so they kind of you know dragged me to the front of the house and i don't remember any of this okay like nothing i i blacked out and they told me that they just left me in front of the house like as they opened the door in front turned around and 
boom, I fell on the floor. So they had to carry me to my room. Oh my God, I also have another little memory. Karina walks in the room because I'm like yelling out Brian to go in the room. I don't know why I was even yelling for Brian to go in the room. I don't know if I was freaking out lost where I was, but I had a black strapless dress. And Karina walks in the room and I'm like yelling out Brian's name and she told me my freaking dress was like out. Like my whole out, bitch. I can't even imagine if my parents would have walked in on me. Can you imagine? I remember the next day. Oh my god, I forgot. Yeah, I told you guys how that I had peed myself. Oh, that was not the first incident. I have a really bad, like it's almost like, um, oh my god, this is so disgusting. It really is disgusting just thinking about it. But this is just like a tradition now. I don't pee all the time, but it's happened a few times where I'm just like, I'll tell you guys. I think I've said it before in another video. I peed that night, my mom's wedding. I peed in my quinceanera dress because, not that I was drunk because I was obviously not drinking, but I remember that night, I wanted to go to the restroom so bad and that whole day I didn't go to the restroom because I couldn't take my dress off so I just held it in and as soon as we got home I wanted to be so 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 bad and whoever was in the restroom I think it was Luis did not come out and I ended up peeing myself and it just came out and I remember I was crying mad I was like I cannot believe I peed on my quinceanera day I was so angry at my brother and y'all are not gonna believe this but I peed on my wedding dress too yep you heard it right you heard it from me it was the end of the night I was actually still at the venue for my wedding and I remember telling my cousin Lupita like oh my god I need to pee please please help me zip up my dress like zip it down because it was like a, a mermaid dress and it was tight at the bottom so I couldn't lift it up but I just remember she was trying to zip it down she's like I can't zip it down she's like trying to lift it from the bottom so I'm like trying to lift it from the bottom and I couldn't lift it from the bottom and I remember standing over like this like trying to lift up all the velo or the tul what is it called and like try to aim at the toilet whatever could come out this is so nasty but yeah so some of it was going in the toilet a lot of it was going on my dress a lot of it was spreading around and i just remember i was so devastated i was thinking like bitch i can't believe i just peed in my wedding dress and i wasn't even like that lit for my wedding like i was buzzed but i never even got drunk because i knew i wanted to remember everything and i'm actually sad i even remember that because i couldn't believe it but you know it really would not be me if i didn't pee in my wedding dress honestly it's so disgusting i feel like with anything like that that would just gross me out like as soon as i got to the hotel i showered quick like it was so nasty definitely my mom's my mom's wedding was the most embarrassing thing I've ever 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 gone through I kind of peed my, my wedding dress as well that was really embarrassing because I was just dragging along the piss as I walked out of the restroom oh my god it's so nasty for a minute I was like I'm never gonna tell anybody this is so embarrassing oh I'm so full well you guys that basically completes this mukbang I hope y'all enjoyed it I definitely brought up some really depressing stories <sighs> Oh, I cringe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click that little bell. That way you guys are notified when I post new videos. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow.